Sparkleover 000, and I'm going to try and do a how to make Christmas stuff. Well, I only have two so far items, and we have a wreath and a Santa Claus hat. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, sorry, I kind of haven't made a video in like a day or two or something. I um, was trying, ooh, the spell came out. I was trying to upload something, but I don't know if it's uploaded yet. It's a Christmas haul of like what I got for my Christmas for decorating my own Christmas. So I'm gonna just get right into it because I don't want this to be too long. Start off, we will make the hat. What you will need is some of these hats from Michaels. And if you do not have these, I recommend watching She Like Lover Zero Zero. Wait, I just said my name. Sorry. Recommend my name. Uh, she like. I don't know. Um, watching how to make a different Santa Claus hat video. I'll just say that for now, because then you can't really use these. These are the main part of them. And once you have one of those, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take off the little white piece. I know there's a sticky part. You're just gonna rip that off. And, yep. Next, you're going to get some red felt. Oh, by the way, that's all you need. Some red felt. And I already have square right here. And you're going to put your Santa Claus hat into your felt with the bottom of the hat at the end of the felt. You're just going to cut around it. And I know there's, like, this little white thing. So I just, like, cut towards it. And then I cut around it, and it can look kind of like weird. That's why you want it to look. You actually, at first, don't try and cut perfectly because it's better when you have a little rigid lines. And then you're going to just adjust what needs to be adjusted. And then you're going to do the outside of your Santa Claus hat with glue, hot glue, I think. I've never tried just plain old glue. Ah, hat, hat, hat. Okay, I just burned my finger. Ow. Where is it? Okay, and then you're going to put the extra strap on and press the corners down as hardly as you like as hard as you can and then you might have to do some more little trimming here and there that's okay and then you can just smudge it hard and you should leave the front area open like this I don't think I did actually <laughs> but you should and then it'll open like this and that's good. So I'm just going to put those there. Oh. Oh, do you want to... Wait. This is my other one. My other one looks better. But yeah, I just push and it looks really good. We're going to be making the wreaths now. So let's go. You'll need green pipe cleaners and... Sometimes, if you want to, like, add a little color and stuff, you can use, like, gray or sparkly, and then you can add a different, you can use a different color ribbon. Like, you could use pink for a specific course. That actually look cool. I think I'm going to do that. But I'm just going to stick to green for now. And then you'll need, oh, guys, look, I finally found some ribbon. And then you'll need red ribbon. And... <laughs> Except for like scissors and hot glue. And then you're just going to start by cutting a little piece of ribbon and put it down. And then by that ribbon, <laughs> and next you're going to use your little like, pipe cleaner. And you want to find something circle. Um, I used like this last time, so I guess I'll do that. I'm just using the inside of a tape. 
little thing. Or you could use that little thing, you know, that all the tape comes on. That'd be good. I'll use that for my other one, actually. So, and it actually made it really big, yet the thing was quite small. That's kind of small. And then, or you could do like a nail polish thing. That would look better. Or you could use like anything. By recommending a ribbon would be way too big to say. Because like pretty much any circle thing. And then you're going to like make your circle, but then you're going to snip off a little bit extra. And next you're going to just, the extra part, wrap around the short part like this. all gone and now you can take your ribbon and just tie it like you tie your shoe if you know how to tie your shoe come on get over oh what did it do and sometimes like I found these red well at Michael's I saw these red little bows and they're like pretty small and they could work on these so you could just stick the bows on. And that would work, but I like using the ribbon because I think they look better. And then, yep, just tie your sh like just tie your shoe. Oh, my dog's walking. Around. You all should know Stella from my Tony $100 bill, Stella. And yes, that wasn't fake. Those were real $100 bills. They are my sister's. And she was filming it. And I, I think I was wearing pajamas that day. You can see that. And like, a little bit. And my tie failed, so I'm just going to glue it. Okay. Okay. Well, it's already seven minutes, and I don't want to upload it. I don't like uploading long videos. That's 16 minute bond tour. Eh. It took like a year to upload. And I think it like, it kept on like turning off. And it, but I found an easier way. Yeah, it takes longer. So this is going to be up in a couple days. So that's what it should look like. The bows are a little demented. You guys will have better bows than me. Mine's a little bluey. Here's my first one. I know my second one, and it's both pink. And you can double it up like I did for this one. It's double just to make it thicker, but I kind of like the thin ones. So that's how you do it. So comment down below which one you like better. Peace.